this is gonna be my August empties and this shouldn't take too long. I don't feel like there's too many items here. I do apologize if you can see the lights shining behind me. It's just traffic going in front of our house. Uh, school just got out so there is a ton of traffic driving by. So starting off with the makeup, I have this first item here. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. This is their two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum and this one is in ultra black. Now I just finished off my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper for July's Empties, so I pulled this one back out, but I already opened this one up. So this one only had about, I would say three weeks and it was completely dried out. But this one unfortunately is finally dead. It does have the same kind of brush tip on the end, but I did feel like I had to go over like two or three passes just to get it dark enough to make it look like it was a deep black because it had been open for so long. So kind of bummed that I let this one sit in the drawer being opened, but I'll, I'll know better for next time. So there's that one. And then I have a little mini mascara here. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. Now, when I initially used this product, I really enjoyed it. And when I used this one this time around, I just didn't feel like it was as impressive as it was last time. So I don't know, I used to think that I would want to purchase the full size of this product, but I don't think that I feel the same now. So even though I did enjoy the mascara for the most part, I'm just not going to repurchase it. If I get another sample, I'll definitely use it up gladly, but anyway, kinda, kinda let down with this one just a little bit. I have a little deluxe size of the Fresh Sugar Rosé Lip Treatment. And these are really nice. They feel, feel really moisturizing on the lips. They're a little slippery on the lips though. I don't feel like I would ever purchase one that is a very dark color because even this one in this very light pink color, I, I could see it outside of my lip lines and stuff where it just traveled like that throughout the day. But I did dig out a considerable amount out of here and I'm satisfied with where it's at and I'm ready to toss this one in the garbage. I have purchased the original Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in the past, but I don't think I would purchase the Rosé one ever. So. The next product is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy. The puffer product here. This is, I use this as a concealer corrector sort of product. It's kind of like a salmon-y tone. I don't know if you can see at the cap right there. It's like a, it's definitely a salmon tone. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. I really love the cooling tip on this back end here. I really like that up against the under eye area. It really feels like it does depuff, but I can't wear this product all on its own. It does provide a little bit of coverage and it does brighten quite a bit, but I have to either set it with something or I have to put concealer or a foundation or something over the top of it. Because if I just leave it all on its own under the eye, um, it'll get into like fine lines and it'll just look really, extremely noticeable after about two hours of wear. So I enjoyed this. Um, I don't think that I will be repurchasing this in the next six to 12 months. Maybe maybe in a year or something I might buy another one, but I, I'm, I don't know. I'm so-so about it right now. I'm a little conflicted. I got these out of my last birch box, I think. These are the Acure Coconut and Argan Oil Cleansing Towelettes. There was 12 of them in here. I thought these smelled pretty interesting. Um, they smell like coconut, but it's not like a super sickly sweet coconut. It was actually a really nice refreshing scent, but I felt like these really reminded me of the Pacifica cleansing wipes and they're just not my favorite. They feel a little bit drier. Um, I've heard some people said that these burned their face. I didn't have that issue, but I know a lot of people had that complaint with this item here. I feel like they removed the makeup. I just would not repurchase them. I didn't feel like they were saturated enough and I didn't try them with any eye makeup. I usually just use a separate eye makeup remover. So I can't really give my thoughts and opinions on like waterproof makeup or anything, but for foundation and you know, basic face makeup, yes, these did a fine job at taking stuff off. So. Anyway, there was that. And then ones that I do really like are the Equate 
nighttime soothing makeup remover towelettes and these are the ones that are compared to the Neutrogena night calming ones. These come with 40 and your typical package of makeup removers come anywhere from 25 to 30 wipes in them so I really like that these have a couple extra wipes in them and I just really like them in general so definite Definite future repurchase right there. Um, I have a little deluxe size of the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap, and this one is just the mild version. I did cut this open to get that last application out of here. I like this stuff, but I use, I generally will purchase and use the bar soap, like the face soap from Clinique. So while I did enjoy this, I thought it was just fine. I just prefer the bar soap. I feel like I get more I feel like there's just more product in the bar soap, so it was good. I don't I don't think I've ever purchased this, actually. I just used the samples up. Couple foil packets here. I have this one. This is the Herborean Korean Skin Therapy Bamboo, what is this? Fresh Gel right here. Just a little foil packet of this. I wrote on the back that it smelled nice and it reminded me, like the feeling of it, the texture of it reminded me of the Smashbox primer, the face primer. It was really smooth feeling and I I enjoyed it. I don't have a clue where you can buy this item, but I actually really did enjoy this. So if I ever see it out somewhere, I'll definitely purchase it, but I definitely won't be making a separate order on Amazon or you know, from their website to buy this. I, I don't think it's worth that. Two little packets from Shiseido. One of them is a serum, one of them is a lotion. I have the Ibuki and then the Bio Performance. I just use these on my neck. Nothing really special about them. I just have a ton of these kinds of lotion samples and I don't want to add too many on my face because I'm not sure if something breaks me out, I wouldn't know what it was. So I just use these on my neck. I thought they worked fine. They both smelled really good, by the way. Another jar of the Piper Y Natural Deodorant. I really love this stuff. I have repurchased it. This is a aluminum-free activated charcoal based deodorant and it's actually a paste and it's like a light gray silver tone to it. These jars, if I'm using it all on my own, these jars will last me about three months, I would say. Like I said, I have actually repurchased this. I did find a free shipping code and I will definitely be buying a couple more of these for the winter time too. I don't have any weird reactions from this. This keeps me from being smelly and for the most part, this is the only natural deodorant that I've ever tried that doesn't have aluminum in it that actually works. So if you wanted to try this out, I will link my review that I did on this product down in the description box down there below. I only have one lotion this month that I used up. This is the Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream. That's what it looks like there. This stuff just smells so amazing. I have one or two more that I need to use up before I can repurchase any more this year. So I'm hoping that I can finish them off and I can pick up some in the new packaging. I'll buy the scent essentially in anything, like hand wash, uh, body spray, shower gel, anything. I really like this scent, it's really sweet. And I think it says on the back here, it says, Fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. It's really good. If you haven't tried this out, definitely check it out during the holidays when they bring it back out. I have a thing of soap here. Usually I don't keep my soap bars or boxes unless they're really good. And this one is really good. This is from Lush. This is the Maypole Soap Bar. This one, it was a little pricey. It ended up being $9.00 based off of the weight that I bought, but I just cut it into smaller chunks and it was really good. It was like a like a maple and something else. Maybe I'll put the description down here. I posted a photo on my Instagram. It's the coolest looking bar of soap ever. It's got like the pink rind on the outside and then the light kind of bright green on the middle. It's really pretty soap and it smells really good. It's peppermint oil and maple, like maple syrup. It's a really nice one. Very sweet. I have some hair products. I have, this one's been hanging around for a while. This is the L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Nourishing Shampoo. This one's for the color treated hairline. I don't know, this one's taken me a really long time to use up. I feel like if I use this consecutively, then I get build up in my hair. It doesn't feel like it rinses out as well as it should, but 
It smells really good. It smells like candy almost, and I'm just happy that it's finally used up. I do have a really big tub of the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This one was $27 when I bought it from TJ Maxx. Yeah, and normally this is upwards of I think like 55 bucks or 60 bucks. They did change their packaging so that's why it was discounted at TJ Maxx but this thing is massive and it's finally finished. I was really sad about that but this is probably my all-time favorite hair mask so I really recommend this if you have damaged ends or kind of dry ends or really long hair. Test this out if you can find it anywhere. Just a little bit of this goes a really long way. It's really concentrated, really nice product. Probably my all time favorite deep conditioner there. Then I have some little minis here. These are the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Honey Treasures scent line or fragrance line. These smelled really nice. Um, says that they strengthen and heal the damage. I don't know about that, but they sure smelled nice. They left that scent in your hair throughout the day, and you can kind of smell it throughout the day. Like if you turn your head, you could get a whiff of it. I might buy these in the full size. I'll have to think about it. They always send out coupons in the red plum, so I'll probably end up picking up a full size eventually, probably just the shampoo. I use a deep conditioner usually, so I don't really need to pick up the conditioner one. I'll probably just buy the shampoo. As usual, I have a hair dye. This is the Revlon Color Silk. This is in number 11, which is soft black, and I just like them. They're under three bucks at Walmart. It's just really easy to do a root touch up with these. I have, once I ran out of my macadamia conditioner, I had to kind of scramble around because I didn't have any other deep conditioners. So I found this. This was in my drawer with like my hair products. This is the L'Oreal Feria Shimmering Boost Hydrating Conditioner. This just comes in like the Feria um, dye kits that you get and I just used it up. So, you know, it was in there. The Bath & Body Works Golden Pineapple Luau Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This was really yummy. I do have another backup of this. Uh, does it say what the notes are on here? Oh, it does. This has fresh pineapple, juicy mango, and passion fruit. This was really nice. I really like that pine pineapple fragrance. So um, if they have any more of these the next time I go in, I'll probably pick up one or two more. Here's a little Curel Itch Defense Body Wash. I had two of these. I think I used up the other one last month, but like I mentioned before, I don't feel like it added any moisture. I feel like it just didn't strip the moisture out of your skin. So it was a really nice body wash. It did foam up nice. Felt like it got me clean, so I, if I was gonna buy a body wash, I would probably buy this one in the future, and it really didn't have a scent either, so it was pretty nice. I don't usually add these in, but I actually really enjoyed this. This was the Febreze Unstoppables Air Freshener, and you know, I'm adding in like candles, wax cube thing, so I just thought I would add this in. This one, did I say it was in the fresh scent? This is a really nice, fresh, crisp scent, and I feel like this lasts in the air for a couple hours. I think it says on here, I thought I read six hours. Yeah, I don't know if it's six hours. I would I would probably say four hours you can smell this in the air, but this is really nice, and this lasts, this hung around, I'd say maybe like a month and a half, two months. Really enjoyed that. And then finally, I have some wax cubes as usual right here. This one is really good. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. These are their Ambiescence Wickless Fragrance Cubes. This one's in the Lemongrass and Ginger Tea Fragrance. This is probably one of my top five favorite fragrances in the cubes. I, I tend to stock up on these. I'll buy like five or six packs of these and use one of the coupons that goes out for Bath & Body or Bed Bath & Beyond. I always get those mixed up, but really like this fragrance. And then the other one is just the Better Homes and Gardens Iced Winter Cranberry. I think I got these during the holidays. Yeah, it was during Christmas. And I just thought these were okay. It was definitely a winter scent, not something that I enjoyed using, but I just had a couple left. So I just used them to use them and get them out of the way. So I don't think I'll buy these again if I see them this year. But anyway, that was everything for the month of August. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.